Well, guys, I'm going uh, to do a special video that was requested on, and I'm holding this by hand right now, so it may be a little shaky, but it's on the Leader LSW333. It's an all-channel sweep marker generator. Uh, this is for the newer TVs that had the 44 megahertz IF. Um, right now, I don't have a TV that is operational. Um... For that IF, so I basically just got the thing hooked up, uh, feeding the output back into the detector input, and then showing it up on the uh, scope here. And uh, showing the marker in there at 44, uh, increase the size of it, and then back down. But anyway, uh, I think the main thing that the person was wanting to know was more or less the typical operation and uh, connection to the scope uh, this is a post marker generator and it uh, works by feeding uh, you have two outputs that go from the generator down to the scope so uh, one's for the Y or vertical sweep and one's for the horizontal or X and then you set your scope up on XY mode and then all you gotta do is you can adjust these for amplitude the your two inputs but to position the X you use the uh, time base position horizontal position and then the vertical on your Y position to adjust it so that's why they say horizontal and vertical scope. Uh, this particular generator is you can invert. So if I invert the vertical or horizontal, you see it flip back and forth. And then uh, the vertical, you flip it up and down. So, and then uh, we have a marker size. So I'll show that increase the size, downsize it. Now I'm going to increase it a little bit because you can also flip the marker from vertical to horizontal. So right now it's vertical, horizontal, it's in there and back. So uh, that's more for if you've got a pattern say uh, this is the type of pattern that you're kind of looking for right here and you know like 42.17 here 42.717 megahertz marker is kind of on that vertical so is the 45.75 you can flip that horizontally so then it would be easier to see it has preset markers uh, 39.75, 41.25, 41.67 and so on up to 47.25 these are crystal markers uh, they also will double out depending on what, what mode you're in. I'm in the video IF right now. So I can, if I flip on some of these other markers um, and bring the uh, increase it a little bit. There it is. That one is 47.25. That one there is 45.75. Over here, and I need to increase the width a little bit more, is the low one, the 39.75. And, I, you know, if you just shove them all on, you get a lot of markers in there. I will shut some of them off. Uh, this adjustment adjusts the width. It can go up pretty wide depending on what uh, setting I'm on. This adjusts your center frequency. So I've got the 44 megahertz one on there which should be about center of the if it was hooked up to a TV and everything was set right. But see, you can see I can just move it around wherever. And then um, video or chroma 
and sound IF the chroma would be like this kind of similar to the IF frequency and when you got that hooked up then you've got these markers right here that's underneath the 3.58 to 3.08 4.08 and a 4.5 would be used for this and it knows that one it's hooked in there you can also do FM uh, IF 10.7 megahertz or flip it to RF and then you just use the uh, width here to get the full band pass there are a few markers for it 88.5 88, .5, 88 or 85.5, 88, 90, 91.5, and 94.5. There is modulation. It can be modulated 1,000 hertz or 100 kilohertz. A video carrier and then 10.7 megahertz marker. You can also feed an external marker in here from another generator. And that way you can just... Um, you know some of your markers or some of the uh, markers you may require that is not fixed you can actually set uh, set those uh, the other thing switches on here there's a magnifier for the detector input so if I come over here you can see it gets smaller and bigger and then we have our various attenuators this is our uh, step so I'll show you what they do. Um, that's uh, 10 dB down and the 20 dB down and then there's a variable. So, And it does have a, a signal level that uh, this output level actually works a lot better when you're hooked up to an actual set. Now, uh, the other thing about it is there are uh, three different floating bias supplies, uh, grounds, float, and everything. So, uh, doing a lot of t when you're working on TV, um, they generally want you to uh, supply a negative voltage into the um, AGC circuit to basically shut it down uh, so it doesn't fight you when you're trying to do an a IF alignment. And these. Uh, there's 0 to 75 volts, 0 to 24, 0 to 24, and then you can plus or minus them. Uh, originally, when I got this, the only BNC connector was on the RF output. These three were the Ampinol uh, mic connectors. I changed those out for BNCs here. And uh, it did come with the supply cables. Um, the two cables go on the scopes. I had to change the ends for those because they weren't BNC on this end. The other two cables is the RF, which we'll come down here and look at it. It's set up with two different types of uh, inputs here, or uh, and also either terminated or open. And you can have 75 ohm which is the red and black or 300 ohm which is the yellow and white and then you can either terminate at those or have them open the other is the detector probe which has got uh, there's three wires on it you got a, a ground then the white lead here is the actual detector it goes through the di uh, into a diode and then the yellow lead is straight through but those came with the unit now as far as how to hook it up to the TV that's left up to your your instructions that uh, in a service information or a TV there's various different ways uh, uh, a lot of the, a lot of TVs are all, most TVs are different from each other so where you feed the signal in where you pick the signal up at and various um, things you need to do you know, some TVs you may have to um, take and take a tube and cut a pin off or do something like that to uh, um, feed the signal in or you know there's various different ways so you have to follow your particular instructions when it comes to your TV uh, that's with the service information 
and it will also give you um, in there along with those instructions uh, what all markers that they're looking for they may not be looking all for all these markers they may be looking certain ones and again some of those may not be the ones that's already preset on this that are crystal markers so that's why we have the external marker in this thing also can marker output so it can actually act as a signal generator and a marker output with these set frequencies and you can also you have your VHF channel 2 through 13 and UHF full band from 14 to 83 so um, to cover those for doing like RF uh, adjustment on your TV so anyway I hope that answers some of the questions on this um, uh, basically they're not real difficult to use like I said you hook uh, your horizontal scope probe to uh, or the lead from the horizontal here to uh, where your scope says is, uh, is the X uh, this scope here channel 2 is the X but on my other scope down below the leader channel 1 is X so uh, that also you have to look at your scope and see what you got wh which one which uh, but anyway one lead hooks the horizontal the other lead hooks to the vertical and then you set her in XY mode uh, you feed your signal through this RF line into the TV to um, where it's supposed to be fed in at uh, depending on your instructions with you know in your service information on your particular TV uh, again it'll probably want you to um, disable the AGC by supplying a voltage you know maybe like minus 4.5 volts it can be any number of different ranges so anyway that's why these are variable and you just hook a couple leads in hook it up the way they tell you to hook it up and set it to what voltage it's supposed to be and then your detector uh, lead detector in you just hook it up uh, where the instruction says to hook it up and then make your adjustments according to your um, instructions uh, you know and set your markers for what you're supposed to be looking for and so on so anyway uh, that's basically a general overview of this thing you'll see it more when I get that Zenith TV done because I'm pretty sure it, it operates at the 44 megahertz center frequency so I'll be using this and I'll probably couple it in with my signal generator because I'm sure that some of the markers may not be on here preset but in any case I hope that um, answers questions on that and stuff if you have any other questions or anything about this uh, just leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll try to answer them uh, I may have to make another video uh, depending on what the questions are but anyway uh, if you like this video give it the old thumbs up and, um, and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um, I do lots of different videos and so uh, if you stumbled across this video and you like to see more about test equipment old tube radios and TVs and things of this nature uh, subscribe and uh, that way you'll know when my new videos come out so again thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.